So we're joined by Lonnie Hawkins from Shortland Insurance Brokers. Hey, Lonnie, how are you going? Very good, Glenn. Good day, John. Now, travel insurance, COVID-19, there's a lot going on uh, in the globe at the moment with insurance, particularly around travel insurance. So this certain pandemic aside, conceptually speaking, do travel insurance policies cover loss due to pandemics? Pandemic, so it'll, it'll actually depend on the insurance policy that you're with. Right. And that's one of the, obviously, the topics that we are talking about um, across all uh, products that we do talk about today. Uh, every policy is completely different. Now, some are covering a pandemic and some aren't. So you really need to know what's going on. Now, in regards to the travel insurance, uh, with trips to China, um, there was a, a ban put on that, uh, where are we now, the end of January 2020, um, where the uh, DFAT had actually declared it a, a do not travel zone. Yep. So if you go into those do not travel zones under your travel insurance, then you are going to have an exclusion on that policy. Yep. So the, the do not travel uh, advices that do come from the government uh, are there for a reason. And so you're saying a lot of the insurance companies will look at the DFAT website to see if they'll cover risks based on what the government is saying? Yeah, exactly right. So if you need to cancel a trip because of that DFAT warning, then you still need to check on your travel insurance policy and make sure that you are covered uh, for uh, uh, th- this pandemic that's going on at the moment. Right. And so, yeah, go on. Yeah, well, I was going to say because... With travel insurance, we've got to just remember it's an insurance policy. So, remember when there was the volcanoes in Bali, okay? So, volcanic eruption happens in Bali, flights cancelled, trips cancelled. Yep, sweet, I'll claim my travel insurance. Most travel insurance companies would pay the claim, but then they would say, okay, whoa, 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 we know that there's a volcano, we know that it's going to happen, so if you take up a policy from now or book a ticket from now you will be excluded because it'd be the same thing it's a known event and that's that can be the big issue it'd be the same thing if i rock up to my uninsured home tonight and it's on fire and it's not insured and i'm calling the insurance company and they can hear the crackles in the background (laughs) they're not going to insure you because the actuaries need to balance that there's a, a a lower there's a higher risk of it not happening. Yeah. So I think you need to realize with travel insurance, I think it's controlling the worst case scenario. So it would be if you're ill or fall sick overseas or you get rushed to hospital or helicopters called, that's when you want your travel insurance. Yeah. If you've lost a $1,200 ticket, because of a pandemic, which basically grounds the world anyway, you can kind of see why most travel insurance companies won't cover a pandemic. Um, that's It sucks, but it's also okay because I think the reason we need to buy travel insurance is if we get sick overseas. Mm. That's my view of it and the higher car overseas. Yeah, you just have a look at uh, the medical costs associated with um, some overseas um, travel. I know my brother went to America in the last couple of years and and had appendicitis when he was over there and spent a little bit of time while he was travelling in hospital Mm. getting that taken out. And the the bill for that was, I think it was $60,000. So do you pay a couple of hundred dollars or a thousand dollars for your travel insurance before you go yeah. or cop that when you get over there. No brainer. And going it? with this COVID virus at the moment, uh, I did hear the other day that if you were sent for isolation in an American hospital, it's something like $84,000 for two weeks stay. Oh. Mm. Yeah. So, it's a good hotel. But if pandemic isn't covered on that policy... You can't get it anyway. No, you won't, you won't no. be able to. No. And the other thing that we do need to uh, consider at the moment uh, are these travel bans, but also the dates in which um, things have arisen as a result of the pandemic. So if you're trying to organise to travel anywhere in the world at the moment, um, you, you're probably going to find it very hard to get um, cover anywhere for yeah. it because it is a known event at the moment. Yeah. Um, and the, the, cut, the cut-off date was the beginning of March. 
2020 yeah. worldwide. Yeah. Almost yeah. like the um, the volcano thing with the barley yeah. that I was talking about with barley. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So if your insurance policy actually has pandemic cover and you've booked and paid for your travel and organised your travel insurance prior to the 24th of January, yeah. then you're going to be fine to cancel it. You cancel your trip as a result of the do not fly or Australia telling you that you can't go out of the country. As long as your insurance policy um, covers you for pandemic, then you will be able to get a refund on those tickets that you've you've done. Yeah, it's just if an example is um, if the known event date was the 1st of March, for example, yeah. and then you bought your ticket on the 2nd of March to America, for example... Yep and you bought your travel insurance policy on the 2nd of March to America, so it's after the date, still you can fly to America, that's no problem. If you cancelled because you didn't want to go because you feel scared, you're not going to get covered because that's your choice. But when Trump turned around and he said, oh, we're not letting any citizens in, at that point it's out of your control, but because you're outside, you're after that date, you're not covered. That's correct. If it was, if you got your ticket, got your insurance policy before the known event line in the sand, and it was cancelled because of maybe Trump closing the borders, your trip to America, you would likely be covered. Yeah. But before he made the decree that no other, no people other than citizens could come in, and you cancelling just because you've changed your mind it'd be likely not covered because you've just changed your mind. Insurance isn't there to cover you for your change of mind. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's to cover you as a result of a third party doing unforeseen. something yeah. to stop you. Yeah, yeah. something that's unforeseen. Yeah. So I think it's important to know that with travel insurance, this is why as soon as you book your holiday, book your travel insurance policy. Yeah. Before you, like don't do it the day before you go because you've got a higher chance of getting your money back for your flights if you have the travel insurance policy booked, lodged, paid for before there are times when you actually do need to use that travel insurance prior to you actually traveling and that cancellation is obviously one of those yes so there you have it on the travel insurance